Hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. And I'm Ralph behind the camera. And Ralph, today we're looking at some vintage housewares, glass pitchers. Our friends love that. So, Ralph, you can show our friends sort of this top shelf here. We're going to look at it. This is where I've placed all the glass pitchers that I've collected over the years. Various shapes and sizes. Colors and, and shapes. Yeah, fun. And I love, uh, I love some of these. And, of course, the great thing about all of our friends out there, I know that many of you will recognize some of these. So if your mom or your grandma or somebody you know had one or if you remember these growing up, most of these really, none of these were, are really what I would say f are fancy. These were all real kind of dime store stuff okay. do you know what i mean um so let's start with that one on the corner because that's got an interesting this one oh that's a coca-cola this that's one's a, a coca-cola oh, picture i, I really. don't even remember where i got it but it sort of has a a barbecue <laughs> uh theme no. right with a coke bottle what year would you think that would be from i don't think this one's particularly old okay um and I don't re quite remember I got it. Now, if we go behind, Ooh. we'll see some oldies here. So these would be from the 50s and early 60s. This was a very popular shape. And if you look, Ralph, a lot of these pictures are the same. Here, we'll put these side by side. They're the same picture, but they were just printed with different patterns. So you had companies like Anchor Hocking, um, and Libby Glass, and uh, Federal Glass, Indiana Glass, um, Hazelware, different glass manufacturers made these. For those of you watching, tell us what pictures come to mind or that you had. Like this tulip one, I'll bet, was very popular. Very popular. And again, this is something that um, really uh, you would have bought uh, at Kresge's or Woolworths or... Uh, Newberries or uh, uh, you know a dime store, Five and McCrory, dimes. Ben or, Franklin. Yeah, Ben Franklin, uh, or a Cress, or you might um, even have gotten it at sort of a discount department store like um, W. T. Grants or uh, Kmart or something like that. So he's talking about the first time around. Yeah, the first time around. But if you, I see these all right, the time. I, was I, say. I you know I I don't have any more shelf space so. I have to really hold myself back from getting any more. But, uh, and then, you know, of course, too, now here's a variation. This one people often call a coin style. It has these wonderful uh, round sort of, these are concave, they go in. Oh, um, yeah, I'm glad but, I touched it because I thought it was convex popping yeah, out. Yeah, and it's just, it's convex, uh, not on the inside, it's just pressed into the glass. but. This one, you could tell, is from like the late 60s and early 70s. Because remember, things were going earth tones. And they were go we got into the ambers and the greens. Harvest the, golds. Exactly, and those kind of colors. And so these, this picture would have gone with that. And so this is what, you know, you used it as a water pitcher. You used it as for lemonade. Um, Kool-Aid, you know, iced different tea. kinds of drinks, iced tea. A picture of margaritas. Yeah, <laughs> or, or, or beer or something oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, a picture of beer would go great right. in that. Okay. Um, then you've got, here's a popular pattern. Oh, yeah. Uh, you see it has a star on the bottom. I think this was made by, uh, help me, food friends, this pattern. I think this may have been made by Federal Glass. But you see it sort of has this starburst. This is a great juice That's picture. Great. I love it. Um, and then I've Aww. got some small ones. Now this one. A little Chiquito. Yeah, well this is perfect for like cream or milk, okay, you know, uh, to have at the breakfast table. Mm -hmm. Now here's a picture, again, where the style of picture was used many, many times. But this has got a great pattern here of the golden butterfly from the corral wear. Uh, if you look, Ralph, I've got some of the dishes right there. See how it matches? Yeah, I was gonna say, I recognize the yeah. and pattern so it, or yep. the color design. It went, it went with that. Very cool. Now here, I love this one. 
This one is for, you know, there was a time when tomato juice was really the rage. Yeah. And you'd even see it on menus it and the, restaurants as like an appetizer. The height of sophistication. Oh, my gosh. If you were drinking tomato juice, you were high classed. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> and and uh, but toma So tomato juice pitchers in the 40s uh, and early 50s, they were popular. Here's a... Talk about the, the frosted... Um, design on that. Yeah, so this is a frost, you know, it's fro the glass is frosted. But why is that? It's part of, it's just part of the manufacturing process where here's another frosted one here. Oh, also yeah. happens to be a tomato juice pitcher. Oh, you're right. Isn't he cute? Yeah. Look yeah. At that. And so there's Mr. Tomato, okay, out on the farm. And so you'd have your tomato juice, but the frosted glass. Just a touch? Is like a, just, a, it's just how, it, it's done in the glass manufacturing process, which is different, say, than this, which this is what we call a milk glass. So I think a lot of our food friends are familiar with that. This would, this is white glass. Oh, it doesn't mean that you have to put milk in it. No, you don't have, you could, <laughs> no, you could, it would be good for that, but that's what they call this white glass, is called you know, a milk glass. You know what I would like to put in that? What's that? Grape juice, you know why? Because uh, there's, because there's grapes on it. And there. then it would look so cool because it's so pale or white, and then yeah. you could put uh, a dark colored well, grape, or a wine. Well, this right pattern there. actually was very popular. I'm trying to remember the company that made this. Uh, they made these by the millions. They made candy dishes and, and other accessories to go maybe in was, this grape pattern. Oh, maybe it was Milky Way. Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe it was Milky the Clown. Um, here's another picture. This one's a little bit... This one actually says Pyrex on it Ooh. right here. But I don't know. It's got that golden butterfly pattern yep. once again. Is that the Corel thing? So do you think Corel... Um, well, Corel and licensed is, it out. Yes, they're, and Pyrex and Corning, you know, they're all kind of connected. So here's one that is a still has there. I paid 99 <laughs> cents for it. How about that? Has a measurement here, and this is you. You know, you would make lemonade on it, and this you got from buying reconstituted um, lemon juice. You know, in the supermarket. I love the the green and the yellow on that. But is it um, uh, is there an indication of when that would be from? Like, would that be seventies, eighties? Uh, and then here, now here's a beautiful. This is sort of a a very um, interesting picture because it's got well, it's got it's hand painted. You know, you've got the grape, really nice grape design on there, oh, yeah. uh, and it is also frosted. Years ago, Kevin and I took a tour of the uh, Fiesta factory in um, Newell, West Virginia. In Newell, West Virginia, and we were marveling at the folks who would still be hand painting little touches on some of the yeah. Fiesta wear. Here's another one. Again, these were all painted by hand. You know, again, they weren't expensive, but you know, it kind of gave it a nice little. And I mean, they they do hundreds of them in an hour, you, you know, know, with just the brush strokes. You know, what would be a big hit is if you gathered a bunch of clear pictures from resale shops and took them and had, instead of a paint party, have a picture paint party where you paint oh. pictures. On the pit, put paint pictures yeah. on the pictures. <laughs> yeah, it's a picture. Right? Is that what you're trying to say? Paint a picture on the picture. Here's another small little, you know, here's a couple of them. This one is the early American press cut. This was a very popular pattern of cl of glassware made by Anchor Hocking. I have many pieces in this pattern, um, and then this is just a little little milk pitcher, or uh, I I use them for syrup and things like that. Here's uh, here's another tomato juice. Boy, that was popular. It wasn't really it? was. Oh, look at the flowers behind. Can you look at that one real quick? Yeah, sure. Are those irises. Um, yes, they are irises. Now this is not hand painted. This would have been printed on. Uh, this would have been printed on the picture. That's yeah, cool. But you know the style of picture very popular, mm -hmm. and um, kind of got ridges. Yeah, and you know it was just these were things you would see so much in the backyards at, during the summertime. 
Here's a little orange juice pitcher, of course. That'll with, bring back memories. Yeah, won't it? Yeah. And there were our, were little glasses, you That's know, to match right. with the oranges Yeah, little on juice it. glasses with yeah. the same color pattern. There's a fun one. Oh, this yeah. one's just like a... This, doesn't this just look like an outdoor barbecue kind of a pattern? It does. You know, it's just sort of... Sort of fun. I can mm -hmm. see iced tea or lemonade in that. Yep. And now here, Ralph, look, this is a whole set. Uh, of here's there's the the tomato juice pitcher and then look at these little tomato juice glasses. Oh, those are co so cute. And I cool. know, aren't they? And now uh, here's one. I'm gonna try to. It's hard because um, I know a lot of these are clear, so it might it's hard to see the image through. But this one's got slices of lemon. Of course, it's got a bright yellow lid. We know what this is for. Margaritas. <laughs> Right, for I lemonade. Mean, oh, look at that one in the back with the square, um, flowers, but it's kind of uh -huh. got a... Like a, like a patchwork. Patchwork. That's, yeah. That's yeah cool. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Very 70s. Look at those colors. Yeah. Green, orange, yellow. Yep. So here's another um, Anchor Hocking Early American Press Cut. This is a full-size picture. It's got the star. Look at this nice scalloped handle. Okay. That's for gripping, like when your hands are wet, you won't uh, and, drop it as easily. You know, again, just pressed glass. Uh, beautiful. Beautiful, but nothing nothing fancy. Here's another printed, look at this one, red, white, and blue kind of Fourth the flowers. Of July. <laughs> this one's got sort of a square, we call it sort of a D-shaped like handle. Um, here's one that is sort of interesting. This has a lid, plastic pops up like this and you know this would be something that you would put in um, like a picnic basket yeah and you could keep it in the fridge it says on the bottom I don't know if it can make it out it says easy pour corporation okay so this was this was from easy pour now here is a we saw that gold one look at this here's a green one from the same era isn't that beautiful? Yeah, and that's got okay. like a, almost a beehive. Or yeah, it's like a beveled a Rubik's kind of cube a, or yeah. a cubert kind of design. <laughs> that's very cool. And then we come down here. Here's a small little one. There's a big one with an orange stripe. I don't know what it is with me and these tomato juice pitchers, but they, look at that. At first, I thought those were cherries, but yeah, the, it's just. I think that's yeah. No, you're right. They're they're tomatoes, but that's very cool. And I like that stripey orange one in the back and then let's see what we got here is a yet another hard to see another golden butterfly corningware yeah mm -hmm. Corel. or Cor corella um I get it mixed up. some of these are just clear uh there's there here's another one more tomato to a little tomato a whole different painting design yeah and there's what's, a pretty green one. What's this one here? Here, let me pull it down. So this one's kind of got a... Rustic theme? Well, it's got like a, a mill. See, you're by the old mill stream here. Mm -hmm. Covered, has a covered bridge. So it's sort of a, a country scene. Um, cool. These were just fun accessories that, that people had. Um, and it was a way to sort of... You know, now everything we just... Everything's plastic, and of course these do break, and I've broken a few in my day. But, but there um, was thought put into the design as an accent to your home. There was, and you know, there's something really great about drinking something out of glass, um, something that's uh, nice. You know, glass. It's like it's like the difference between drinking a a beer or or a pop out of a glass bottle versus a, a tin can. can. Yeah. Exactly. So here's one. Here's one's got a little uh got a chicken or a rooster on it. It'd be a probably be a you know more for orange juice or something like that. And then look at this stripey over here. Here's a fun one from the fifties. Yep. So these were all things just used by people uh as a way of serving uh, some sort of beverage, uh, either at snack time or at meal time, uh, but you know they were all inexpensive to begin with, but very popular in American culture. A fun way to serve family or friends or guests and show them a bit of style. So it's kind of serve serve friends with style and not yeah. just uh, disposable. 
even though it's safer and doesn't break it's like who wants a plastic or a tin something well and we um you know when uh, when we used to have dinner parties more because we could congregate and hopefully someday we will again i always think it's important to keep a, a water pitcher on the table uh it's nice to have water uh, you know, it's like when you'd go into a restaurant, you would always get a glass of water, just automatically. They don't do that so much anymore, but before, remember, Ralph, you'd go into a restaurant, you'd sit down. The first thing they did was bring a glass of water to the table. Yeah. And it's always nice to have. And so I like to use these um, when you for have water. Company. You know, or certainly yeah, put lemon in it, or yeah, you know, cucumbers cucumber in water in the summertime. Really Those are nice, nice touches. Yeah, and people seem to have forgotten about them, but uh, not here on Cavalcade of Food. We remember the past, and so all part of the collection and all part of the fun here. And so, anyways, you know what? We just love our pictures, and we, something that. I uh, wanted to share with you out there uh, because I know that you enjoy seeing different parts of the collection. So We're glad you could be with us. Yeah, so thank you. Uh, please like, share, uh, subscribe, all that stuff. And um, we'll look forward to seeing you again real soon right here on Cavalcade of Food. Bye, everybody. Have some tomato juice. Yeah, let's get into that tomato juice.